Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it's your brother here, Abu Ahmed from Sydney, Australia. My dear brother, my dear sister, are you ready to make a change? Last night, I put up a post saying, get ready to make a change. You know, the weekend has finished and whatnot, subhanAllah. That quote wasn't, or that post wasn't put up just to motivate you. You know, you just read it and like it and that's it. I want to make a change within this community. I want to make a change within this society. First and foremost, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, to show the non-Muslims that us Muslims make a difference within the society. We can actually do some good. So let's get up and make a change, inshallah. Remember, if we work hard, we can get there, bi uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, we have to be sincere. Number two, we have to work for the sake of Allah, and then Allah will open up doors. Remember, don't be an individual that just sits back and says, you know what, I'm just going to care about myself and my family, and that's it. No, be an individual that makes that change. The Prophet sallallahu didn't just go to his wife Khadija and say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inspired me to believe in him. No, he went out to the whole community. So we need to make that change. And remember something, the words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he said in Sahih Muslim, whoever removes a worldly grief from a believer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove for him one of the griefs on the day of judgment. So remember this, by you helping other individuals, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you in the hereafter on the day of judgment, where you're going to need all the help that you can get, subhanAllah. You might ask yourself, how can I help? Well, I can help you there because alhamdulillah, we've established two new organizations which have been approved by the Australian government. The first one is called Al Ahsan Foundation. This helps the poor and needy within Australia and outside of Australia as well, subhanAllah. One of the first things or the first projects that we're doing for Al Hassan Foundation is we'll be traveling to Indonesia, inshallah, looking for the poor and needy crippled children. The ones that are poverty stricken, that may need, um, you know, wheelchairs, they might need crutches, they may need some personal things to make their life that much easier. So we're asking for donations. We'll be traveling personally to Indonesia, purchasing the things from the wholesalers and delivering these goods to the poor and needy or the crippled children, inshallah. So back us up. And you do something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything that is done will be recorded, photos will be taken, videos will be taken, and by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll feel good after you, you actually help somebody in need. Number two, we have Muslims with special needs. This has been established for the special needs people within Australia, and this is for the Muslims and non-Muslims. We're going to try to make a difference for these people because there's nothing really established by the Muslims for the special need community out there. So we need to get this out and we need to move forward. And one of the first things that we're doing for these organizations, uh, the Muslim Special Needs, is we're trying to get your old uh, tablets or iPads. The ones that are, you know, the, the tablets that you have lying around the house and you're not doing anything with them. We're asking you to send them to us and all the information and um, bank accounts and addresses will be down in the description uh, area. So if you have an old tablet or iPad lying around the house and you're not using it, send it to us. We'll clean it up. Um, you know, we'll clean up, we'll put certain uh, applications on there and we'll be delivering them to the schools that are around, the special needs schools that are around us. Where we've already started inquiring, uh, talking to some of them and we'll be delivering them to the special needs uh, people within our community. So make that change. You might think, oh, well, that's not much. Believe me, step by step, we'll make a change. So one project, we'll get there, finish it, complete it, and inshallah will be success. Then we'll move on step by step, inshallah. So please, again, are you going to just sit down? Or do nothing it's up to you if you're not going to do nothing the least you can do is like and share this video so maybe that's going to encourage other people out there in the world to help us inshallah i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all and to make us a people and a community that benefits others